you doing? I hope that you're doing well. I hope you are healthy and happy wherever you are. Welcome to Life and Tea, the channel where we talk about science, travel, and all things being an international student, honey. So if that's your vibe, please click subscribe, like this video, and share it with your loved ones. Um, over the past two weeks, I've been talking about how to apply for graduate school programs and also how to prepare yourself for interview stages of that application process if you haven't watched those videos you can watch them after this I will link them in the description box below one thing is that in that sharing you know I share because I want people to have the information I also share because I know that people are looking for role models out there you know like I think of myself and I think of my background and I know that if I had had the information that I know now when I was making the decisions for my career, decisions for my academic trajectory, life would have been so much easier. Like I would have avoided a lot of mistakes that I made along the way. And so I feel like content like this can be super helpful to anyone who's trying to figure out what their next step could be. And not only that, it's just that seeing someone who is maybe who looks like you or talks like you, that creates a little bit more relatability. So I'm hoping that my videos are gonna touch someone or impact somebody's life and hopefully they can apply them as they see fit. So although I share though, you know, I, I say that I like to share and I like to share my experience with others. I do know for a fact that sometimes even when a person has the interest to go to graduate school and maybe they've done the research and found videos like this that are encouraging them to like apply and helping them to figure out what are the steps for interviewing and such things, there might still be a gap between them knowing that information and them executing. And this might be due to a number of factors, okay? But the one that I want to stress on and address today is that of self-sabotage. I wanna talk about how sometimes self-sabotage can really just impede us from reaching our fullest potentials and living the lives that we envision for ourselves. So stay tuned, we're going to address this. So let's say you have made that decision, you want to go and pursue your graduate studies, whether that's master's or PhD, you know, in, in science or other fields, you've made that decision for yourself. And then you also have done the research, you found perhaps the labs that you're interested in or the universities that you're interested in. And you have also found information like this, like this YouTube video, you found people like me who are sharing their tips and hints about how to get in. But then you still don't, you know, take that step to throw your net in and apply. Why is that? You know, sometimes it's also like, um, you see people on social media living the life that you once dreamed for yourself, you know, in academia. You see people living and doing things that you only wish you were doing. And let's say you're a good person, so you're clapping for them, you know? That's great. You might even find yourself falling into the trap of living vicariously through them you know you follow them on twitter instagram youtube whatever you're with them on linkedin you're just kind of watching their careers grow but you're still not making that step for yourself even though you know that you're interested in a similar thing or interested in a life that kind of looks like that why is that a lot of the times we have self-sabotaging beliefs, you know, and they can happen to various degrees in different people and for various reasons. But from time to time, most people will experience some kind of uh, self-doubt, self-sabotage, just negative self-talk. And, you know, these internal dialogues that are happening in our brains you know, can be so loud and so persistent sometimes. And if they are negative, the output of those things, of those conversations can also be negative. And some of the most self-sabotaging beliefs that I have come across when I have mentored other students or just given advice to other people who sought after it were things, you know, I would ask them, so why are you not applying? Here's an opportunity. It seems like it's a good fit, you know, regarding what you have told me you wanted so why are you not applying 
So people have a whole list of reasons that they'll give you, which they think justify why they're not taking any action. And quite frankly, a lot of them are things that people have believed to be true, but have never been proven to be true, you know? I want you to think about that a little bit. Like a lot of the times when we are full of self-doubt, it's, ne it's never really because anything has happened that has proven to us that we should be doubtful. It's usually just the fear of the unknown. And of course, you know, I don't know people's lives. I'm just going to talk from my experience and from the experience of the people that I have helped along the way. So I want to share with you some of the lines that I've heard people say over the years, um, which have prevented them from actually taking action into becoming who they really wanted to be. So one of them is just, I don't think I can do it. You know, I don't think I can do it. I think this is too hard. I think that I might fail. I think, um, what's the other one? So things like nobody else in my family has done this. Why don't you be the first? Nobody else in my community has done that. Why don't you be the first? Um, it's too far. <laughs> uh, it's too far. I might get homesick. A lot of people get homesick. It doesn't mean you have to forgo your dreams. And one of the ones I hear the most is people will say something like, I'll be too old by the time I finish. You know, usually they're talking about a PhD program or a master's. They're like, this is time consuming, so I'll be old by the time I finish. At that time, this person is like 25, mind you. And I'm like, what? What? But also, again, you know, time is going whether or not you're doing that PhD program. So you're going to be old either way. You might as well get a degree out of it, honestly. So, but these are some of the things that people say, and they believe them so much, and they think they are such big blocks that they cannot overcome them you know uh, when you think about the one about i'm not qualified enough you know sometimes it's not even true you look at the person's cv you see that oh they have everything that is required by this institution why do they think that they are unqualified for it you know so sometimes just about they don't see role models, they have nobody representing them, so they think that this is way too far-fetched for them, it's too scary, and things like that. And there are many other um, statements that people say to themselves internally or even sometimes verbally that really stop them in their tracks when they're trying to achieve their goals. And to those people, I say that, you know what, once you've decided the goal that you want to achieve, and you're sure that's the thing you want to achieve, the best thing you can do for yourself is to give yourself a shot. Just gonna take a shot here. You know, give yourself a chance, all right? And don't let fear stop you in your tracks because oftentimes, life's greatest moments are on the other side of fear. We have to overcome that fear of the unknown and fear of being the only one and fear of being away from home and fear of possibly failing, you know? We have to overcome those fears because usually there's not even any evidence to back them up. Preach! things that we are creating in our minds and the imaginations we're creating in our minds are literally stopping us from achieving the things we want to achieve in real life <laughs> so we have to be able to overcome that fear and say you know what I'm gonna do it whether I'm scared or not I'm still going to do it and I'm gonna give myself a shot by at least trying because that's what an application is right by applying you're giving yourself a chance and you're casting a vote in your favor that's what you're doing when you apply. You're saying, I believe that I'm qualified for this position. I want to do this research. I want to work with this professor. And this way, you at least start the dialogue and they can then evaluate you back and say, all right, let's have a discussion, you know? But if you're already not even applying, that's literally like saying no to yourself before anybody else has said no to you. Don't be that person that says no to themselves. Can I get amen up in here? Amen. Okay. 
I think that in overcoming this fear, we have to recognize the potential of what lies ahead because sometimes the things that we fear the most are the things that are most meaningful to our lives, right? And that means we might get the best joy, the best fulfillment from doing those journeys rather than if we chose not to. And so by giving yourself that no, you're basically checking yourself out of not only that current opportunity but every other opportunity that would have come as a result of it give the admissions team uh, you know give them a chance to be the ones to say no to you give the professors a chance to be the ones to say no to you in life there are already so many rejections whether that's coming from graduate schools or any schools really jobs I don't know partners like romantic partners there's so many rejections that can come from different spheres of life and if life is already full of rejections why do you want to then join those groups of people who are rejecting you <laughs> like don't reject yourself in that manner give yourself a chance so this is my encouragement to you today is that if you want that opportunity for a grad school position or a job or whatever it is that you're looking to get this year, don't hesitate to click that link and start the application process. Please don't hesitate to send that email to that professor expressing your interest in doing research with them. Don't hesitate to talk to your current professors asking them for a recommendation letter. Do your best and give yourself a chance because honestly, you don't know what greatness lies ahead of your decision. And even if things don't work out in that moment, it's okay. We can move on from rejection and there are many strategies to do so. However, you will have already grown from that experience and you'll know what to do better the next time around. So either way, take a chance on yourself and vote yes on yourself. So if you needed it today, bro or sis, like this, this is your chance this is your encouragement this is your push this is whatever you needed to just make that decision take that leap of faith do it do it go get that dream career go get that dream school get the dream life and your future you will thank you all right guys that's it from me today thank you so much for sticking with me i hope that this helps you and encourages you if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and once again if you're not yet subscribed it will be really really nice to have you as part of the family so please do click that subscribe button see you next time ciao